basically it was cluttered but funny. That was kind of the, the point I was trying to get. Okay, we're filming. So, as if to further prove the fact that the Lego movie had a great deal of influence on, um, on animated films, I just got done. Did you know that they're making a Playmobil movie with um, Daniel Radcliffe as the lead character? Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, Playmobil is basically like Legos, except they were invented at a different time, I think. But anyways, I saw the Angry Birds sequel movie today, the second Angry Birds movie. And uh, the main thing I noticed was that the, uh, the plot is a little, uh, little light. Mostly it's just for jokes. I guess you should kind of expect that with an Angry Birds movie. I felt like they... They spent a little bit too much time jumping back and forth between different things happening. Um, the Let's see, the first movie uh, was a lot more coherent. It was one story, it was, you were following the same characters, and there were only like three or four main characters to follow around. And in this movie, they introduced so many characters, I failed to notice that Anthony Padilla from Smosh, Nicki Minaj, and Alex Hirsch. Alex Hirsch are all in this movie. And that's not, that's just like side characters. They don't even actually do anything. And there's a lot of characters that don't actually do anything in this in this movie. Um, there's like kind of a sort of a, a techie guy that you see in all the trailers who's like inventing gadgets and stuff. Um, he basically does nothing and he's just dragged around the whole time. There's like um, a, a teenager pig who also is like wears glasses and likes technology or something, I guess, who also didn't serve any purpose in the movie. Um, you have Bill, play Bill Hader playing the lead pig um, and he served a purpose, you know, he He's getting sort of an alliance together. He's trying to team up with the Angry Birds. The birds and the pigs are teaming up because both of their islands are in peril. Uh, that's all in the trailer, so. Um, kind of obvious stuff. Uh, let's see, what do we say about the humor? I don't think there were many fart jokes, so that was good. Um, th there were some, I think. I suppose that's what you expect out of a kid's movie. Um, a lot of slapstick, they have like this repeated gag where they play the same song and they show like the same exact, uh, daydream sequence over and over again. And I laughed at that. I think I laughed at it every time. I, I will be honest, I laughed a lot at this movie. Um, even though... It's like a, it's just like a dumb video game tie-in movie. I liked it. I mean, I mean, like the plot is basically that they're trying to pull like a heist or they're trying to break in and destroy this big machine that's going to doom everyone or something like that. So it's, it's a fairly, I mean, I've seen a lot of heists, uh, heist shows and movies. I think the most recent one I saw was, um, have you heard of, Amph is it called Amphibia? Uh, I think it's called Amphibia. Yeah, so there was like a heist episode of that show where they're like trying to steal some stuff from like a, they're, they're trying to pull a heist basically. So it's like, oh, okay, you know, I'm familiar with that. It comes with the gadgets. Um, you think, oh, well, they're not going to use any of these gadgets. It's just going to be, and then like, we find creative uses, and if the stuff is in the background, it comes into the foreground later on. Uh, of course, I've seen the trailer for this multiple times, so a lot of this stuff was spoiled for me. And then, of course, there were scenes that were completely different from the trailer. And 
They made they may have just well I don't know, they probably just planned it that way. They were like, oh we'll just change it. It'll be good. Um let's see, what to say? You've got um kind of the say so basically it was cluttered but funny. That was kind of the, the point I was trying to get across. You have too many characters. You have like too many villain characters too like all of the bad like there's i don't know maybe there's not too many of them but there's too there's too much in this movie if that makes sense i mean i laughed i had a good time um i chuckled the whole time i thought oh this is really you know this is just kind of a fun fun time and that's all i really had to say about it um it's not like it's not really a deep story and you can see everything coming a mile away, but but it was still fun getting there, you know? Um, but Playmobil, really? A Playmobil movie? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? They're thinking, oh, well, it'll be like the Lego movie. It'll be a huge success. No, you know what it's going to happen? Uh, is nobody's going to see that. Nobody wants a Playmobil movie starring Daniel Radcliffe. Okay? And if you do want one... Well, who am I kidding? I'm gonna go see it. Whenever it comes out. There were a bunch of trailers. Um, the one that I just couldn't believe was a real movie was... Uh, there's like a, a firefighter's uh, taking care of kids thing called like... Uh, Don't Set Us on Fire or like... Fighting fire with fire. And so it's got some kind of fire pun movie. Live action thing. I was like, oh, okay. Uh, probably not going to see that one. Because it's not animated. And then there's uh, the sequel to the reboot of Jumanji. <laughs> Which is just, it's wild. I don't know, man. I, uh, I don't know. It's weird. But, um, this movie? I guess you could go see it if you, if you like the first one. You'll probably like this one okay. Um, it shouldn't bother you too much that every, that there's just so much going on. I mean, the characters weren't, didn't have a ton of depth to begin with, so it's not really like you're missing something. Um, other than that, I really hope this was recording the whole time. And, uh, yeah.